Hey everybody, today in this video I'm going to go through with you my entire perfume collection currently as it stands in January 2024 but just to make it interesting I am going to order this list least used to most used and I guess that would kind of also indicate which ones are my favorites because <laughs> you tend to wear I tend to wear the ones that are my most favorite. There's no bookshelf where there's shelves and shelves of perfume and I don't just buy perfume and never wear it or save perfume. I try to use all my perfumes. Obviously I have favorites and there's perfumes that I probably won't repurchase and there's perfumes that I have already repurchased multiple times. But I think I have a decent collection and I, it's still growing and I've got many, many perfumes on my list. But I just thought because of where I'm at at the moment and it's growing, I just really wanted to share with you my list. So I'm, I'm not like, check out my perfume collection because it's massive because I know there's so many other people who have really big perfume collections. But you know, hopefully if there's any in this collection that you are thinking about buying, maybe I can help you to do or do not buy. So anyway, I need to stop with this intro before you click away. So let's just go. <laughs> new here welcome thank you so much for thanks for tuning in if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for coming back if you are new here I make videos on beauty luxury fashion hair and makeup products and my life in Tasmania I am an ex fashion model and I'm 36 and I'm also single so if any of that is interesting to you please consider subscribing and also check out my other videos there might be something there for you if you are just a perfume lover and you found this video by chance I am doing a few more perfume videos I literally just unboxed a perfume that I'm about to show you and I've also done a order with scent split which is like niche perfume decant website where you Try before you buy, basically. Now I'm rambling. Let's just start because there are a lot of perfumes. So I have 24 perfumes to go through with you. And I guess you could say there's like a top 10 and then there's the rest. This perfume is only on the least used top spot or bottom spot. I literally unboxed today. I'm still trialing it on my wrist, but I am definitely keeping this because I know it's going to be a favorite of mine. I have the 30 mil size of the Tom Ford Vanilla Sex. This is a new release and I will put the notes on screen so you know I'm not going to go through it with you because this video will be way too long, but this is also very polarizing. Initially, there's people who love this, people who hate this. So I I think I love this. It's not as strong as some of my other perfumes, but oh, yeah, I just keep wanting to smell my wrist. So Tom Ford, it's been a little sex. Let's get rid of that. Next one is the Viva La Juicy Gold by Juicy Couture. I've had this for quite a few years, actually. It was a purchase based off a review on YouTube. The, is it Jeremy Fragrance? He loves this and he says that it's one of the sexiest perfumes women can wear and he's done like street random people tests and it's regularly voted by men random men as a favorite and you know what it is nice it's just not um i don't reach for this immediately <laughs> because i've got so many and it's not one of my favorites but it's very sweet and juicy <laughs> yeah it's it's actually quite a dynamic fragrance. I don't know how how long lasting and strong this one is, but I've worn this on multiple like dates and I've never had a man say, wow, that's nice. However, maybe they just didn't want to say because they thought it was too being too forward. I don't know, but I haven't had any compliments from anybody when I wear this. And uh, I don't know if you buy perfume, generally you want people to like how you smell because that's half the point, isn't it? <laughs> so if someone's, if no one's gonna compliment you, you're not gonna be like, oh, well, I'll keep wearing it. Mind you, I do just wear perfumes for me, but it is nice when someone asks you what you're wearing or says you smell really good. You're like, huh, I know. <laughs> so next is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum, and this is the, I've got a personalized bottle. Short story, the original Misty or Cherie, not original Misty or, but Misty or Cherie when they bought it back in like 2000 and 
I want to say 2001, but that could be way out, 05. I had the Misty or Cherie and I loved it. And for some reason I thought maybe I'd try it again as like a summer fragrance. And it doesn't, to me, it doesn't last that long anymore. It's nice. It's very sweet. The vanilla doesn't really come out until the end, which is sort of why I thought this might be a nice spring, summer fragrance. But I don't know. I just don't, I don't put it on and, and I, I like it. It's a very safe fragrance and I, I do wear this. Like, it might not look like it, but I do wear this. It's just, I have a lot of other perfumes that I tend to want to wear instead. But the point of getting this was so I could wear it uh, in warmer weather and it's summer in Australia and I haven't really picked this one up so there you go I love this Dior Cherie but it just doesn't smell the same I, I don't know it's something about it it's it's not the same perfume so next is a I inherited this from my sister she's very sensitive to perfume it gives it uh, I am too I get headaches occasionally from my perfumes but she bought this one because it was meant to be like anti headache inducing and it still gave her a headache. <laughs> so this is, who is Elijah Hayes in 100 mil? I think it only comes in one size. This one says smoky woody sweet. It's very similar to uh, By the Fireplace, which is the Maison Magella replica uh, by the fireplace. It's nice, but like you can tell I barely use it because I didn't, choose this perfume I was just I was like oh yeah I have it so it's not it's not bad it's just not I have probably better perfumes very Tom Ford tobacco vanille but less vanilla and uh, it smells yeah reminds me of that plus by the fireplace which I have both of so anyway then I have Lush let the good times roll this is a body spray eau de toilette I bought this when um, sort of revealing something a bit sl slightly fast forwarding here so this is in the top 10 for my perfumes this is 71 uh anyway that was sold out at the time i really wanted to buy a <laughs> i was like oh no i'm gonna run out so i better buy some more anyway they didn't have any in stock and you know i found this and this is similar ish i just don't like the packaging I don't dislike this fragrance. Sometimes I've been known to use this as a room spray. It's described as burst of buttery popcorn goodness. I feel like if this was in a slightly more like classier bottle, I'd probably use this more. Is that really bad? It's very, it is what it says. It's very caramel buttery popcorn cinnamon. It's really nice. It is. It's just, I, yeah, it's more of like a gym spray for me. <laughs> now, Next one. This is a very similar story to the Miss Dior. Dior, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. So I have the Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, this is the Extrait Eau de Parfum Intense by Co uh, Chanel. And this is the smallest bottle you can get. It's a 35 mil. I bought this at the end of last year and I was like, oh yes, summer fragrance. This is, oh, just reminds me of when I was younger. This is one of my first, like, I think this is my first Chanel perfume. And uh, I actually had this around the same time as this one, the Misty or Shree. When this came out, it was around that time. And it's a very similar profile in terms of a perfume. So they are very similar, which now I'm kind of thinking, why did I, why did I buy this? So I have read countless reviews and... The Intense is closer to the original Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. And over these, it's changed. Apparently, it's not as strong. So the Intense is meant to be a little bit more true to the original, which is why I bought the Intense. It's a little bit of a similar vibe to Monsieur Cherie. I mean, it is different, but like side by side. See here. Dior is sweeter on the top note. But I just, they are very similar. It does dry down to quite vanilla-y, ambery -ness, And they are both safe for, like, if you bought this for anyone, I'm sure they'd be very happy. Unless they really, really passionately hate orange blossom and vanilla and what else is in this? Um, rose, fruity notes, feminine floral perfumes. <laughs> I feel like it's a good present to get people because most people like this perfume. And it ain't cheap. Uh, same with Monsieur, but 
very good safe office perfumes so speaking of that i have my next perfume which is the scent intense by hugo boss and i've had this for a couple of years now actually i think i bought this pre-covid this was also from a jeremy fragrance youtube review this i have two versions of this one i use a little bit more this is the private accord version i used to wear this in the office and it's sort of a bit more of an autumny wintry but also it could be summery <laughs> Osmanthus. Sounds like Samantha. So Osmanthus, not really. Yeah, I really like this one actually. The honey, I get more peach off the nose, but on skin, I think it's a bit sweeter. And then it is, it is a lovely perfume. It's, it's quite different. Not a lot of people will have this perfume. I feel like it's very sort of niche, but not niche perfume prices, if that makes sense. So I actually really like this. Um, and I mean, it lasts a while. I don't get a lot of compliments, but I, I enjoy wearing it. So the next two fragrances I have are purchased off last year. I placed an order at Scent Split, which is a American online store where they sell decant small bottles, like one mil, two mil, three, five decant. So they have a full size and they pour it into a small version. So you're basically just buying samples. Often online, you buy perfume if you've never smelled it before, you a blind buying perfume so you don't know what it's going to smell like on your skin or in general so if it's a a really expensive niche part perfumer perfume house it's kind of a huge commitment to place an order online and, and not know if you're gonna like it so there's a lot of websites now that sell decant perfumes and I am on a bit of a mission to find a really good collection of vanilla fragrances anyway so last year I placed an order, I think I bought 25, 25 perfumes. And I think so far I've bought three out of those 25. Most of them I didn't like, thankfully, because otherwise I would have like wasted a lot of money. Uh, and some of them I am intending to buy, but it's just a matter of when. So this one was the first of three that I have before me. And this is from Montal. And this is Vanilla Absolute. And this one is very vanilla -y, very straight vanilla. This is quite old now. This is a 2008 launch. Vanilla, cinnamon, cloves, woodsy notes. So I don't really know what the top notes are, but it's, I, I tried about four or five vanillas, I think from Montal. And this was one of two I purchased. And this one to me lasted the longest and had the nicest vanilla smell. Second to that is Intense Cafe by Montal, slightly different. This has got rose, coffee notes, vanilla. This one's quite uh, unique if you like rose, but it's like a different rose because you can smell a bit of a coffee, vanilla. Floral, rose, coffee, vanilla. <laughs> Similar-ish to Black OPM YSL, but not, not the same. So yeah, this one I, I tend to quite literally only wear in winter. Although it would be a nice spring perfume. It's got a very intense, strong smell, probably because of the coffee. So it's to me more of a winter fragrance, so. Okay, next on my list is Super Amber by Ellis Brooklyn. You can sort of see how much I've used of this. So I fell in love with a sample that I got. I couldn't stop smelling my arm. So I had to buy a, a 10 ml version and used it up entirely and then finally graduated to the full size but i haven't actually worn this quite a lot in the last 12 months which is why it's sort of somewhere in the middle i think i don't know maybe it just needs to develop a bit more i for me i feel like the the sample and the smaller bottle had a different smell maybe they were older and this one just needs a bit of time to mature it doesn't have a lot of fragrance notes in this perfume it's very one-dimensional it's very ambery tell you what though i did my washing today and after washing a t-shirt that i had on four or five days ago that i sprayed this on the clothing because it's not super strong i could still smell it after it had been washed <laughs> so if you are one who sprays their clothing when they put their perfume on then this will last and actually comes out really well on clothing it's got like a, a warm cozy cashmere blanket um yeah warm and fuzzy cozy kind of scent i think it's got iso e super in it because 
this is often compared to uh, Juliet has a gun not a perfume or whatever it's called so yes it's I don't think it's for everyone and I know that it's a bit polarizing and some people get like cat piss smell out of this so do not buy this without trying first Next, I have Maison Margiela replica by the fireplace, small little 10 mil travel bottle. I've always intended to buy the bigger bottle, but I don't wear this enough to really entice me into getting a full size. I don't dislike this fragrance. Obviously, I've used half of it, so it's, you know, it is very nice. A lot of people love this perfume, including me. It's very smoky. It's not as sweet as Tobacco Vanille to me. I really want to try the candle because apparently that's really awesome, even though I've got like a lot of a lot of candles to get through. What's really great about, Fra uh, this is not sponsored by the way, I just love this website. When you go on Fragrantica, you can see what people have also voted that is similar. So like if you're looking up this perfume, it, it is a section that's called this perfume reminds me of, and then there's other perfumes. So if you have a, something similar and you never have never smelled it before, you're looking up something new and you've never smelt it, but on the list are like a fragrance that you've already got. And it's it's got like how many people have voted that that is true. So hopefully that makes sense. People have also voted that this reminds them of By the Fireplace, which obviously is true to me very least not knowing much about this this perfume house i'm fairly certain that this is a dupe for by the fireplace because i literally just read the fragrance notes and they are identical identical yeah it's very similar oh my gosh not as strong this is stronger this has got a sweet Slightly sweeter top note. Wow, I had no idea. Okay, well, I won't be buying by the fireplace because I have this. <laughs> Sorry if you've been watching this being like, hello, it's a dupe for that, you idiot. Anyway, <laughs> um, right, let's move on. So I have Sol Chirosa, Sol de Janeiro, Chirosa 62. This very much smells exactly like 62. It doesn't change very much from first spray. It's very true to the 62 that everyone loves. However, I love 71. I don't own 62, except for the perfume. <sighs> Sol de Janeiro, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, please, please make this into this. I want a perfume version of this. Don't change it. Just make it stronger to last longer, please. <laughs> And also, there's only, there's, this is it. There's no, like, matching body products for 71. Why not? This is their best fragrance. <sighs> there you go. I haven't used much, as you can see. I just bought the small version. Right, next we have Hugo Boss, the scent for her private accord. Obviously, I just spoke about the just the scent version this is private accord this has got a bit more of a chocolate note in it i really like it's different it smells nice when you put it on i mean i haven't used a lot but i have like i have and i haven't <laughs> so think about like those chocolate orange orange chocolates similar to that and i'm not actually a fan of orange and chocolate together to eat but this it's really it's just really unique really different Next, similar-ish, because it's got coffee in it and chocolate, is Black Opium by YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. And this is, is this an intense version? I don't even know. Yeah, this is the Le Parfum. So slightly stronger than in the original. This was a 2022 version. Originally, I think I bought the, the, like, the original Black Opium when I lived in the UK, and I bought it from um, Selfridges. And it gave me a headache, so I gave it to my mother, I think, after a while, and then I've somehow i think i smelt it on someone and i was like oh you smell so nice what is that and she's like ah black opium hello <laughs> and anyway i think she had the original but i wanted to try the intense version and i liked it i got it last year i got a small version and then i bought this immediately because i loved it so much all i get is jasmine 
but that just might be my unrefined can't tell the difference between two white floral uh, perfume ingredients but it's very jasmine -y, very very jasmine -y. but it does dry down to lots of vanilla bit of coffee and yes very nice I don't get a huge amount of compliments from this and I don't always feel like wearing it and sometimes it gives me a headache <laughs> but I really do like this and I tend to wear this more in in cooler months I wore it the other day actually and it, I think because it's summer and it's quite warm after a few hours I feel like it it just uh, it gave me a headache so anyway it still gives me a headache just like the original but I I have one anyway Next is a perfume. I can't pronounce the perfumer and I'll probably butcher this. So if you're French, I do apologize. Maison Francis, Maison Francis Cochin. I mean, that's not French. Cochin. Cochin? Maison Francis Cochin, if that's how you say it. This is Gentle Fluidity Gold. And my formulation, I'm pretty sure, has never been purple. It's sort of purplish but not like bright purple apparently this is just to do with the vanilla ingredient and when they're purple it, it, um, apparently it doesn't mean that the formulation is any different but there are a lot of people that have reviewed that said that the purple versions of this are a more vanilla -y, strong long-lasting version to this one I bought this after trialing it a few times in store at Mecca and I've used a fair bit of it I don't get a huge amount of compliments it to me needs to be reapplied throughout the day it's more of a it doesn't have a lot of sillage you need to you need to reapply this baby which is kind of annoying because it's not cheap and this is the smallest full bottle size it's not for everybody it just smells a little bit it smells floral and sweet and a bit more like fairy floss cotton candy if you're american got a bit of a sugary confectiony lolly smell I really wish this was more vanilla -y and it lasted longer but it's not terrible actually I probably should have rated this a bit lower on my list oh well we'll just leave it where it is <laughs> what I think is this takes a while to develop so initially it's very hard to smell and then eventually it's a little bit stronger but it is to me more of a skin scent so if you want to if you want this and you want people to be able to smell it or you want to be able to smell it spray your clothing in your hair because that's probably to me the only way i can smell this uh hours later this is number 10 in my list so we're in the top 10. next one is b by ellis brooklyn and i'm nearly finished i need to buy a full size of this one this is also quite a unique polarizing perfume but as you can imagine one of the main notes in this is honey <laughs> obviously I don't I don't really get a lot of compliments when I wear this but I really love it and I want a full size I just haven't pulled the trigger yet and also because I love bees and I love honey so I do love this one obviously it's one of my only fully used 10 ml perfumes but yeah I think because I had a few other perfumes I wanted to buy that didn't come in this size I haven't purchased a 50 ml at the moment so the next one on the list is Scandale by Jean-Paul Gaultier and this is the Le Parfum version 30 ml size I wore this the other day actually it changes a little bit it starts out very much like uh, Hypnotic Poison by Dior even similar colors because I, I just bought the 30 ml which is usually what I do unless I have no choice I buy the smallest bottle available purely because I have so many perfumes I can't use them up fast enough and I don't want them to expire before I get a chance to get my value out of them so I don't buy 100 ml bottles of perfume unless they only are sold in one size and I do have a few of those but this is a 30 ml the 50 ml is the famous, the famous version of this bottle which has got like the the legs the upside down pair of legs as the lid it does have a bit of a plasticky play-doh-y like plastic doll doesn't to me smell like salted caramel I've actually used half of that bottle yeah so there you go right my next perfume is it the third perfume that I purchased from my scent split order I made last year this is the only bottle that I could only get in one size it's the escapade gourmand by Maison Mataha it's the extrait de parfum 
it's got vanilla in it and vanilla oh my god i love this it's very strong it's i bought this off uh maison matahar's website in euros it got shipped here and it didn't take that long it's 100 mil it's a very heavy bottle it's very substantial luxurious and very vanilla-y I get compliments when I wear this uh, even at the end of the day people can smell this on me so it's worth the price tag it's actually sometimes something I have I used to layer these two if I wanted a bit more of a tobacco vanille vibe uh, so yeah it, it's very vanilla -y. doesn't have any florals in it or anything it's literally just sugar and vanilla and something else this one was sold out when I wanted to buy this and then it finally came back into stock and I did not hesitate I bought it straight away I love it if you are contemplating buying this and you're not sure I encourage you to just buy it <laughs> so the next one is Burberry goddess and I bought this at the end of last year it's a very solar floral jasmine vanilla yumminess to me it's a very summery spring sorry if you can hear can you hear that is on the chair just there she's snoring she's got a little tongue out <laughs> Burberry goddess is like I think the first refillable fragrance from Burberry and it's a unique gourmand scent I'm fairly certain this just has vanilla in every layer of the perfume but it starts out with lavender and ginger I have had people compliment me when I wear this one and some of them are in the afternoon after I've sprayed it once in the morning and I don't get a lot of lavender in this. I just get vanilla and like a florally, sparkly. It's kind of like, it just smells a bit sparkly. I don't know, it's intriguing. It's very nice. There you go, I've gotten a long way without saying very nice. So yes, I really like this one. To me, it's a bit more of a summery fragrance, but like wear this all year round. Number five, I have one I've already showed you before. This is Brazilian Crush Charosa 71 by Sol de Janeiro and it's caramelized vanilla and macadamia. I wear this like to the gym or of an evening if I'm rushing out say to run to the supermarket and I want to put something on so I just smell nice. Uh, yeah, I wear this. It doesn't last forever, but it does project well. Oh, it's so yummy. Oh, I love this. I wish they'd make this into a perfume. Anyway, I have another one of these waiting in the wings for when this runs out how much I love it people do smell this on me oh my gosh someone smells like cookies fresh baked cookies or oh what's that really nice smell it's usually this and I know it's a what like a hair and body fragrance mist so an eau de toilette but you know it's it's number five out of all my perfumes so if you like sweet smelling perfumes gourmand fragrances you won't be disappointed and it's like $39 right we are going returning to the world of Alice Brooklyn and we are now looking at vanilla milk now this would have probably been lesser down the list until recently I fell in love with this all over again I haven't used a huge amount but um, you know it just doesn't matter it's really nice there we go again with the really nice it's milky it's toasted marshmallow it's sugar i don't know it's very it's just it's hard to explain it's really it's very different but it's also not <laughs> and recently i wore this and i sprayed it in the morning possibly got a bit on my clothing and then by 4 30 in the afternoon a colleague of mine said oh god you smell good and I didn't spray it in the middle of the day. I just sprayed it in the morning, 7.30, 8 o'clock. So it does last a while. I was under the impression that it didn't last that long. But, you know, I think it does last a while. And it's very nice. It's a kind of a floral milk top note. And I get milk. But more sugar. Sugar and milk. Toasted marshmallow. Okay. It dries down really nicely. So that's why it's number four. Then we have... A, oh, I need to buy it. I really need to get a full size of this one. I love this perfume. This is Vanilla 28 by Kayali. And you can tell I love it because it's almost finished. And it is one of the ones that I tried. Got this from Sephora 
I thought, oh, I better try this because it's got vanilla in the name. It's more of a winter perfume, like it's quite strong, but you could get away wearing this any time of the year. And the only thing with this is initially when I bought this perfume, it made me headachey. So it has the potential to give you a headache if you are so inclined to getting headaches from perfume. But I remember my mum had one of these and she sprayed it and I was like, whoa, what is that smell? She's like, oh, I don't know. It's just... It's one of the ones that your sister gave me because she didn't like it, gave her a headache. And I'm like, oh, which one? And so she found the bottle and she showed it to me. And I'm like, oh, I have that perfume. I have the exact same bottle. And so I was like, right, well, I'm going to resurrect this perfume. And I did. And now it's nearly finished because I love it. I don't really get a ton of compliments, but I love it. So, you know, fragrance family is warm and spicy. Musk, amber, brown sugar, jasmine. It's kind of, there's a theme, okay? You can, you can tell that there's a theme, right? Yes, it's very nice. I've only got two left. One of my more recent favorites. I bought this obviously last year. Why obviously? I don't know. So this is Eilish by Billie Eilish and I have almost finished. This is a 30 mil and this was her first perfume and there's a few iterations after this one. But I bought this from Priceline at the end of last year because I kept reading that people loved this perfume. And initially, I didn't think that this lasted very long. I thought it was like a very light eau de parfum where you spray it and then you kind of need to reapply halfway through the day. However, the other day I had this on, I sprayed it at 7.38 in the morning, didn't take it to work with me, but I was... Where was I? Wherever I was, it was about 5.30 p.m. and someone said, oh, wow, you smell divine or you smell delicious. What are you wearing? And I was like, oh, really? I can't smell that. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't think that that was, wow, okay. And it was, I'm like, Eilish by Billie Eilish. And I like this one because it's different. It's got a very different scent journey or profile to a lot of my other fragrances that I currently own that I've just gone through with you. Delicate, this is on her website, delicate sugar, pe sugared petals accented by juicy mandarin and red berries, which you do get when you first smell this. The heart notes, soft spices, rich cocoa and creamy vanilla. I'm fairly certain there's like sandalwood in this. Base notes, musk. Can't be it. I'm sure there's sandalwood in this in the bottom and maybe tonka bean, but yes, it's got musk in the base notes. That's all it says. This, oh, just oh, something about it. Oh my God, I love it. Why is it so hard? Just, just list the fragrance notes, please. Anyway, I'm definitely getting another version of this when it's finished because I love it. I really do. And it's a cool bottle. It's different because of the mandarin berry opening. And then obviously it's very sweet and ambery towards the end. It's just, it's del 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 delicious. It's delicious. I love this. We have made it to the final perfume. The final countdown. This is my absolute favorite all time perfume. My OG, my ride or die. I always have this in my collection. I've had it since it came out in 2007. For many years, this is the only perfume I used to buy and wear, not kidding. I spray it, uh, I don't know, I just, I spray all my, spray all my perfumes quite a lot. Uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not frugal with how much I spray perfume, but oh, yeah, I've had the 100 mil, the 50, the 30, the 10. This is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. And I've actually got, I've got quite a lot of this still because it's new. <sighs> the amount of compliments that I get when I wear this perfume. Oh my goodness. It's got this really warm, Oh, it's just so, oh, so nice. I feel like this is the original smoky vanilla that's not smoky. Boozy, rich, warm. This is a unisex. I know that there's many people, many men wear this as their fragrance along with women. Oh, I don't know. There's something about it. Fragrance notes. This is on Mecca's website, so it's not like top, middle, bottom. Tobacco leaf, ginger, spiced notes, tonka bean, cocoa, or co yeah, cocoa, fruit accord. And I feel like that's probably the official ingredients description. It's just tobacco, vanilla. <laughs> Spices, vanilla, smoky, woody, amazing. <laughs> How do I describe it to someone who's never smelt it? 
it's opulent and it's warm it's iconic and when I spray this I have this warming sensation it may be because it's got ingredients in it that um, feel warming on the skin I have no idea because I've worn this for many years and when I spray it it reminds me of certain things it just has this comforting it's just comforting I just noticed someone parked out the front of my house what are you doing you can buy the candle the body spray there's probably a body wash now this just you can get the one liter massive bottle that's like a thousand dollars <sighs> and look buy the 10 mil the 10 mils that you get from tom ford are very fancy they come in like a, a quite a large container with a um kind of a similar like a magnetic lid and they're not refillable which is very annoying unlike the handbag travel versions that you can get from uh, chanel and dior the ones that twist up which I'm sure is on purpose, but if you want to sample it and not spend too much money, get the 10 mil. I think it's 10. Oh, you won't regret it. And I feel like you don't need a lot of this, but I do spray quite a lot because I love it. But oh, oh, I just realized that I was supposed to line them up behind me. <laughs> oh, there's too many. I just couldn't do that. That is it for me. That is my entire 2024 perfume collection. Thank you for sticking with me if you've made it this far and you have not skipped ahead or just clicked away. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know if you have any of these perfumes or you are keen to try them based off this video or if you have any review um, recommendations for me based off any of these, you think I might like anything else. I do have a list of my along, mind you. So um chances are something you you suggest to me i will probably always already be wanting <laughs> um i actually also am about to do a video on another scent split order that i've just placed and here's the box here i've got 26 vanilla fragrances in here to try so if you're interested in that check my youtube channel because if you're watching this and it, this video was posted a while ago that video will already be out it'll be a two-part series an unboxing and then a review God, my knee. so i am going to go film that video now you can also check me out on instagram tiktok and facebook please say hi on those channels and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel it would really mean the world to me if you want to stick around and watch a few more videos based on these videos or something similar i have left a few on screen that you might enjoy so please check those out and until my next video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Mwah. Bye.